Dr. Wood, author of the book, Miracles Minutes. Tonight's video is titled, Surrender into the Unknown. What am I talking about? Well, there's going to come a time in your life uh, where you're going to reach a point of everything you've learned in the context of life that you've learned to live in. You're going to have to leave that paradigm, if you so choose, to surrender into the unknown. You don't know how to act. You don't know how to be. You don't know what you're going to do, but you step forward anyway. I highly recommend the book, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. I heard about that book by Will Smith. It was interviewed by him on Will Smith's Wisdom on YouTube. And he said how that book changed his life. It's a great book to read because it helps us to understand that there will come a time in, in your life <clears throat> where you are helpless and you can't do anything about the situation, and you have to surrender to the unknown. <clears throat> the first time I ever experienced that as a person and as a man was when my first daughter was born. I'm looking into the eyes of my wife at that time, who's had a plan, this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen, and looks up at me, no drugs, natural childbirth, and she's crying and saying, I can't do this, I can't do this. And guess what I can do as a man? Not one damn thing. And I was left with a decision. Give her drugs, <laughs> which she didn't want, which would make her feel better, or just sit there and watch her suffer through this and feel helpless and inept and be able to do nothing and watch someone you care about go through an experience before the birth of the child. Surprisingly, Life will present you with a lot of situations like that. Happened to me again when I got divorced. Felt helpless, felt inept. <laughs> Everything I knew, all the power I had and all the strength I had was ameliorated. I was left naked, helpless, vulnerable. <laughs> and I had to walk forward anyway, into the unknown. It's a scary place because it feels so awkward you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to act you don't know what to say and you have to find yourself again or you truly find yourself i think rummy had a quote it says where the scar is or the wound is is where the light enters you because you're out past your thinking mind and now you're into a place of the unknown you can approach it with fear insecurity you could try to run back to your old life, but a lot of times that door shuts and you can't get back in. And it's like leaving the beach, finally, and swimming out into the ocean and starting your life into an area that you have no idea. And let me tell you, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you it's not scary because you don't know anything. And you don't even know where maybe sometimes your next meal's coming from or what's gonna happen next. You can see it as fear or you can see it as the venture of a lifetime. And I call it surrendering to the unknown. You have to go, so I'm gonna to have to trust in something greater than myself to carry me through this. And the same thing happens in the Navy SEALs, okay? Uh, you know, let's suppose I could do 200 push-ups and the guy beside me could do 300. What they do in, in BUDS training is they take me to 201, your arms are jelly and you're out of it. And the guy beside you thinks he's got 100 left in the bank, but they take him to 301. Now we're both even. And Mark Devine talks about in his Kokoro camp, he says you could do 10 times more than what you think you can. See, when you run out of yourself, you have 10 times more, and that's where you can expand. You're moving past what you know and what your current capabilities are and pushing past all those barriers, and your mind is screaming, your fear-based mind is screaming, go back, go back, go back. Go back to safety, go back to what you know, go back to what you are. And now you're in the state of becoming. <clears throat> it's been an adventure. It's taken me some places I've never been. I've seen some things I've never seen. But what's life worth living if you just stay on the seashore? I just want to let you know you're, everyone's going to reach that point and you have to learn how to get comfortable in the uncomfortable. If you can master being comfortable 
and being okay in the unknown, life starts to become a cakewalk. And all the fears that you had from staying, because staying in the known is staying in your comfort zone. That's called security. Going into the unknown, you might call it vulnerability. And Brene Brown talks about that in some of her stuff, but that's where love occurs. Love occurs when you're wide open and you're exploring life as it is and is not. You start to learn to accept things beyond your control. You start to accept life as it comes and not be shaken or disturbed by outside circumstances. And you start to gain control of your mind and you start to get comfortable in any and every situation. So you're always comfortable no matter what's happening. So Embracing the Unknown. Another great book you can look at is Mastery by Robert Greene. You can YouTube it. I believe the whole audiobook is there for free. I think it's about 10 hours long. <laughs> or you can pick up his book and read it. And he covers all the great masters. And they always went on courses that were not predictable. They weren't safe or secure, as most people would like us to think. And they had a lot of unknowns and absurdities. And if you can embrace the unknown, you can embrace the absurdity, you can reach your dreams. You can't do it living in your comfort zone. You have to move past who you think you are and become who you really are. Dr. Wood, hope this video helps you.